Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial I want to show you how you can create this hover car where you can drive around with. So let's go! First of all we have to create our hover car, so right click, blueprint class, pawn and let's call this hover underscore car. Let's open this up and our hover car gets some component. In my case it is just a static mesh as you can see for the car. Also we have a right door on the left door and a steering wheel. So let's select our car here, add component, add static mesh. And this will be also the default scene root here, like that. So let's add up the other pieces. So I skip the process, so we have also the left door, steering wheel and right door, as well as some spring arm and the camera, we need this to control the car. As well we need two variables, the first one will be speed, this will be of course some float and the second one is the steering as well as some float. Let's go to the event graph because we need some functionality right here. First of all we get our move forward axis event, this one here and we will set the speed to the axis value but before we want to multiply by a float like this and we will multiply it by 2500 this will be the default speed compile and save this as well we need the move right axis input and this will set the steering of course as well to the axis value multiplied this time by 50. Now we need the most important function, this will be a tick event. We get out our static mesh, in this case the car here, get the world location, pull this out a little bit, then we want a line trace by channel like this one. We go from the return value and say plus another vector. Down here we want to set it minus another vector. So this will be start and this will be the end. We put the z value to 50 and this one here to 90. So this will be the distance between the car and the floor. So it will hover in this range. Next we need a branch to ask is the return value true? If yes, we want to add some force to the car, take it out here. As well, we go from the car and want to add some torture in degrees, like this one. We say right click, split structure pin, as well on the force here. We take out the steering and this will be the Z torture. For the force we go from the car again and say get forward vector, right click split structure pin, pull this out a little bit like that. We go from the x and want to multiply it by another float as well as the epsilon here. This will be of course x, this will be epsilon and the z will be 1000. Then we take out the speed variable and connect it to both of these pins here and that's it. Make sure that the axle change in both cases is true, otherwise it will not work. The last thing is we open up the details, select our car here and hit the simulate physics to true as well as the mass in kilogram, put this to 50,000, the linear dumping to 1, the angular dumping to 1 and the collision preset to vehicle of course. As well we go to the spring arm and be sure that the use pawn control rotation is true. Then let's open up a third person character. We have this mouse input as you can see, where we have to turn the lookup and the add control draw input and the pitch input. Let's copy and paste this to our hover car here. Let's go back to our level, open up the project settings, go to maps and modes. I would recommend the vehicle game mode and we select the default pawn class to our hover car. Let's hit play. As you can see, the car is hovering. We can control it, even the steering. You can add up some sound effects if you want, some glow up effects if you want. 
I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any questions, please hit me there. And yeah, goodbye.